I was recently asked to take a drive around London in a car without a driver. A rather, no human driver. It was a car operated by Waze, a startup that's developing a new approach to autonomous driving. Uh, front seats are yours. All right. Can I introduce uh, Tifa? Tifa's going to be our safety operator today and monitor the system. Supposedly the easiest job in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Bill. Where would you like to go? Uh, let's uh, go get some fish and chips. Other self-driving technologies work only on specific map streets. Waves technology operates more like a human driver would, learning how to drive in one city and then applying that knowledge to drive in new places. London is a very challenging place to drive, with lots of traffic, pedestrians, and cyclists. We put Waves self-driving technology to the test. The algorithm is now controlling the speed, the steering, the indication, the braking, everything about cars driving. We're making decisions based on what we see, so it's not being told how to drive with a set of rules and a map, but it's interpreting its environment, understanding the context, and making the safest decisions to drive through that. And the beauty of that is that it can learn things that are more complex than you can hand engineer. If you have to tell the car how to behave in each and every situation that will exist, you're never going to cover them all. I mean, this this is the real world right here. Uh, 100%. <laughs> And we've got the cyclist on the left. Yeah, see how we're slowing down behind it. We'll probably, when it opens up, overtake the cyclist, but we're choosing not to now. Okay, let's we'll pause. Yeah, it gives him as much clearance as possible. That's great. All right, this is guy going backwards, forwards. Ooh. I'll give you credit for picking one of the most difficult situations I've ever seen in a car ever. I mean, this is the most unstructured, wild, and complex environment. Yeah, no, the humans are having a hard time. You can tell they're trying to make judgment calls. I think this is the next big wave of technology, for whether that's improving the enjoyment of vulnerable road users, whether that's decreasing the amount of traffic, improving safety, allowing more public transport, more shared mobility, more reliable mobility. I mean, the way we move around cities hasn't changed in 100 years. Well, I hope you enjoyed riding the way through. Oh, that's fantastic.